welcome back to the Alyssa Bliss List. My name is Alyssa and today I'm going to be showing you a new look using the Morphe X Lisa Frank palette. It's a 35B palette from Morphe and it's not a new palette but it's a new collaboration. And this is my first time using the palette. It's been almost impossible to get the last two years. I am super excited to get my hands on it and really pull out a super colorful look. So let's dive in and get started. All right, so I did my whole face just so we could get right into this palette. My brows don't look that good today, but this colorful makeup look is gonna make up for it 100%. All right, starting with my right eye, I just prepped with my P. Louise base, and that's in the shade Rumor 01. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Hunter. It's this orange shade right here. And with that, I'm gonna use my Morphe M506 brush, and I'll show you the tip. Just looks like that. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that orange Hunter shade, tap it off just in case of fallout. I don't know if there's gonna be fallout, but it looks like it is a little bit in the pan. So I'm just gonna take that and go right above my crease. So this shade is not that pigmented. I'm probably gonna have to use quite a bit of it. I think I'm gonna do a cut crease today. It's a very pretty shade though. Just bring that up towards the brow bone. Good. Just pack a little bit more on there. For my next shade, I'm going to be going in with the shade Sunflower. It's this yellow shade in the bottom corner right there. I'm going to be going in with my Luxie 243 Precision Blending Brush, and that's this right here. So it's very similar to the Morphe M506 brush. I'm just going to pop that right here, blending it in with Hunter shade, just going towards the middle. Well, not the middle, it's my inner corner. And yellows I usually do have to go in quite a few times because they are so light. Now I'm just gonna take another brush. I have like virtually the same brush and I think the brand is Kenzie. It's one of those TJ Maxx brushes with the label, the, the engraving has rubbed off. I'm just gonna go in and take the shade Balloon Buddies. It's this shade right here. Kind of blend those two together. Okay, that's very pigmented. Go back in with some yellow. That is looking stunning. I literally don't know how I have this much energy right now. Yes. All right, I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. Can I just say how much I love how smooth these colors blended? I mean, seriously, do you see that? That is amazing. I am now going to go in with a shade of purple. Let's see. Let's go in with, let's go in with Violet and Velvet, this purple shade right here. I'm taking my Morphe, doesn't have a number because it's part of the Pride collection, but it's just got like a flat tip. And I'm taking that brush and going in with Violet and Velvet. Take that and try to cut the crease with that color. I'm deeply afraid of ruining this look, but what's art without a little risk? Okay, Alyssa, shut up. I'm just putting this in the outer corner, by the way. Just so you know, this is not a sparkly shade, but I used glitter on this brush last time I used it. So it is a little glittery. The shade is totally a matte shade though. All right. I 
think the next shade I'm gonna go in with is the shade I'm gonna go in with the shade spotty and dotty and that's this one right in the middle here I want to eventually get to the green in the inner corner because I think that's really gonna look cool with the yellow on top of it for spotty and dotty I'm just gonna use the morphe m166 brush that has another flat head wow this shimmer I didn't know it was going to be as shimmery as it was. Just blend that out with the purple. I might have to use another shade to blend it. Oh, there's fallout. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. figure that out later. Okay, so it kind of took off a little bit of purple. I'm just gonna go back in with the purple. And now I have fallout on the purple. Ooh, a new follower. I really should have put more of my P. Louise base down because that orangey red is really popping through the purple. I really thought the purple would cover it. Yeah, this isn't just me. So I got that shade done. Now that I've got most of the other colors of the rainbow done, I'm gonna go in with the shade Peekaboo, and that's this neon green right here. It's a shimmer too, so it's gonna make it pop extra. Extra, extra. No. Oh, by the way, I'm just taking my uh, Morphe M152 brush, and that has a stick right here. Ignore the green eyeshadow that's on it already. I'm going to need a lot more of that. I really want to use my finger for this shade, except I am kind of worried that if I do, I'm going to aim really poorly and ruin the whole look. That is looking fabulous. I really, really like that. Again, I've heard that greens are really hard to make. So, I don't have any complaints here about this green. The only thing that somewhat annoyed me about this look is that the purple is see-through. And honestly, that's probably on me because I didn't, I didn't cut the crease with P. Louise like I should have. Oh, uh, this green is kind of powdery and chalky. Whereas the other colors didn't seem nearly as chalky. Ooh, maybe I could cut the crease with some glitter. I might cut the crease with some glitter. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to cut the crease <laughs> because I messed up on the crease with blurple, blurple, the purple. But first I'm gonna do the under eye. And I've been actively trying not to wrinkle my forehead, yet somehow I still have creasing and this is my first time using the foundation that I'm using and I'm not so sure that I like it, but you know what, maybe it's just, maybe it's just that I've been taking a long time filming this video. But no, cause I said it. I don't know. Anyways, if anyone was wondering what foundation I had on, it's the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation, Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid in medium full coverage in shade F2. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to cut the crease. So I'm gonna do that off camera because I'm not too confident that it's gonna work out. But I'm gonna try. So that glitter cut crease just made this look so much better. I haven't done that before. I've used glitter before, but I don't think I used it right when I used it. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Glitter in the shade Jolly. I actually just got this from TJ Maxx. It was in one of those like gift sets that I don't know if it was this year's or not. And the glue I just used is the glitter adhesive that came with it. Um, I didn't use the nail polish kind of brush that was in there. Instead, I used my Morphe M250-0 brush. And it's just a skinny, skinny tip. That looks so much better. I have glitter like everywhere. But now I'm going to do my winged eyeliner, my signature winged eyeliner. Oh, and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner for my wing. I'm gonna fix that up after. Mistakes like these is exactly why people do their eye look first. There we go. Finally, it looks decent enough. All right, now for mascara. I was gonna put on lashes, but I think I've done enough experimenting for today with the glitter cut crease. Not that that was stressful or anything, it was actually probably the easiest part of the whole look, but I don't wanna experiment with lashes at this point. I'm using, ah, I forgot to curl my lashes. Hold on, give me just a minute. For my mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to go along with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Liquid Black Eyeliner. Now for a while I was staying away from this mascara. Not because it was like bad or anything, but because I was like scared to mess up I think. And the wand is super thick. And my lower lashes are barely there. I know some people like to use a different mascara for their lower lashes, but it's, honestly, it's just easier to use the same one. And then that way you know, that way you know what's up, I mean, if someone's like, oh, what mascara are you using? You could just say, oh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Instead of, oh, I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and this mascara and this mascara because I'm complicated. Perfect. No actually far from it but I really like this mascara highly recommend so next up I am using the Fenty Beauty diamond bomb in the shade how many carrots and it's super sparkly and super pretty and I love it but I only use it for super fun looks I don't use it on a daily basis I'm just taking my BMX 150 highlight brush and I already dipped it in so it's already sparkly and it's just a fan brush so nothing nothing that you really don't know by just looking at it just gonna do it right here give me a little sparkle a little glow down my nose the tip of my nose, my 
the chin, and the forehead. You know, just sparkling. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Catherine. I dig this lipstick. I end up using it all the time when I don't like whatever else I'm using or whatever else I'm using isn't enough. This one just stands out and it really takes on the gold. I know what you're thinking. It's too much. Maybe I need more blush. I'm gonna do more blush because I look pale. I know I am pale, but I look really pale right now. I'm just gonna go in with the Benefit Cheek Stars Reunion Tour Palette and use Sugar Bomb for my blush again. Because clearly it wasn't enough the first time. Looking better. It looks so much better. I think. Should. If it doesn't, well that sucks. I've noticed I've increasingly gotten kind of annoyed throughout this video. And I'm not annoyed at all. It's just 4.06 a.m. I've been up all night filming this video. Well, anyways, let's go in with the Milk Makeups Stamp Pens because why not? All right, so here is the finished look. I just added some hearts and stars on the side of my face to kind of make it a little more Lisa Frank. And for that, I used the Milk Makeup Tattoo Stamps in the star and the heart, obviously. It's just like little pens. You can get them at Ulta. Um, you can also get them from ColourPop, not the Milk brand ones, but ColourPop makes them and those are really good too. I just have not been able to get my hands on them. And then I just added some gloss on my lips on top of the liquid lipstick and that's the Morphe X Matte Ziegler Gloss. And that is in the shade Libra Energy. Oh, and to top off my look, I used the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Highly recommend. I hope you liked this video. I really enjoyed using this palette. I've never used a 35B palette before. This was a really fun look. Got to use glitter, got to use my tattoo stamps. I got to just really experiment with a rainbow look, an actual rainbow look. Um, again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And in the comments, feel free to leave any suggestions for product recommendations, product reviews that you want me to do. If you want me to test out some new products, do some challenges, just let me know. Again, this is the Lisa Frank Morphe collaboration. Definitely recommend. It's, it's just, you can't pass it up. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.